Okay, today we have the DJI Tello. This is um, their newest small drone. It's actually the Rise Tello powered by DJI and it has um, Intel inside. Uh, the thing that's different about this and the other brush, uh, brushed quads, this one has brush motors, is it has these optical sensors at the bottom that let it hold its position while it's up to 33 feet in the air and without having GPS it can maintain its position. So today's a good day to test that because uh, you'll see in a minute the trees are blowing, it's a little windy and uh, we'll get it up there. So it has a 720p camera and image stabilization so we'll see how good that does and uh, is this worth the $99? Alright so we'll put it up and uh, we'll get it up for a flight and test it out. Okay first thing we'll do is we'll turn it on and the lights start to flash and then it's Wi-Fi controlled so we'll go into our Wi-Fi settings and it's searching for it and it'll find the Tello go ahead and connect to it and then open the Tello app there we go had an error code it's the first time I saw that but it, that might have been because I already had the app open so no worries so right now it's it's ready to go. Um, don't have to wait for GPS because it doesn't have GPS. So we'll just get right into it. So we'll go ahead and take off by hitting this button here. Slide to take off. And notice it's leaning because of the wind, but it still maintains maintain this position because it's looking at the ground and keeping this position that way. And we'll test it, see how high we can go, and see if it still maintains that. And sometimes it has a little problem in some wind doing that. So we'll move it out a little further. And we'll keep taking it up. And that's the highest it'll go, 33 feet. And it still maintains its position even with a little wind. And I'm not touching anything on the phone. All right, so, and it's saying positioning because of the high winds has a little trouble. It's telling you that. So we'll bring it down and go over the features of it. So we'll go ahead and turn it around towards me because most of the features are, it's, it's a selfie drone. So most of your features are going to be um, taking pictures of yourself. So we'll go down some, get myself in frame. Let's go over this way a little because of the sun. All right, pull back some. There we go. So I'll go ahead and get in frame and we'll test some of these features. So first thing we'll do, go up a little, is we'll try, so you go and hit this, the quad, and we'll go up and out. We'll hit yes. And it records the different um, things that it does, like the up and outs and the circles. It starts the recording and stops the recording when it's done. So the recording start, started and stopped when it was done. All right, we'll test the second one. And we'll go with circle. And then yes to continue. And it'll pretty much just make a little circle, get out of the sun. And it starts the recording again. And then whenever it's done, it'll stop recording and then hold its place but we'll go ahead and cancel that by hitting X so that we can go over the other features okay what else we have uh, 360 where are you at well we'll do flips so flips you just swipe in a direction you want to flip and then it turns back around points back towards you and it does not record while it's doing flips so it's not recording now see how the winds pushing it sideways but it's still maintaining the position so that's pretty good for a sub $99 or sub $100 quad for 99 bucks you got a position holding selfie drone that's if the video looks okay and uh, I'll post it and you tell me in the comments on if you think the video is good enough for paying $100 for this. 
All right, so we'll try to land it and we'll go with hand landing. So hand landing, it needs a sense under you. So it's not going to do it right now because I'm so far away. So what you got to do, well, let's try it. I didn't hit confirm. So it's not going to do it right now. I'm too far away. It's too high, so we'll bring it down some. And then try hand landing. And then put my hand under it. Oh, I got to confirm it. And then it comes down, lands in your hand. All right, since we have that, we'll go with throw and go. There we go. It's ready. So I hit this throw and go button. It starts to spin up. There you go. One other feature is bounce mode. It's pretty dumb, but we'll do it anyway. And confirm it. And all it does is sit there and bounce up and down. About four foot high. So maybe if you're back far enough, doesn't look as dumb. Okay, we'll stop that. Bring it up. And let's see, we did the flips in and out. 360 circle mode. Nope, 360 mode we didn't do. 360, yes. And it just pretty much does 360. And again, it's recording once it starts that mode. So each mode will have its own separate recording. And this does not have an SD card. It records everything to your phone. So if you have any kind of lag in your phone, which this doesn't seem to have like the other cheap ones, then you would see it. But um, yeah, it doesn't look too bad on my screen. We'll see how it looks. All right, we'll try landing, just regular auto landing. Okay, next time we land, it's going to be because of low battery. So that's why I wanted to do, to do that one, that landing there. So that's pretty much it. So to play your videos, you hit play. And then, I mean, that's it. So it's under $100. It has, position, um, it has optical uh, positioning, not GPS, but for, you know, staying under 33 feet, staying about 50 meters away, that's pretty good. And uh, hopefully the video looks okay. And for the rest of the video, we'll just go ahead and fly it around and see how long the battery lasts. We'll take off. Slide to take off. Okay, now we'll just fly it around like we have any other normal drone, not for selfie. We'll just fly it around, wait for the battery to cut out.
Okay, it's low battery, so it'll automatically land. I'm not doing that. If it lands on there, that's pure luck. That's crazy. Let's go ahead and land it. We'll go off of there. You just keep holding it down, it'll land. All right, so we'll hit stop. So you can see I have five minutes of video and a couple other minutes of um, just testing the flight mode. So it'll get around, looks like around six, seven minutes of flight time. And uh, it maintains its position really well. Uh, when it's high wind, sometimes it'll drift a little and it'll tell you, it'll give you a warning. But if the video looks good, um, let me know what you think about this thing. And um, please subscribe if you haven't and leave a comment about it. And uh, thanks for watching.